Hey guys, welcome back. It's AG. We're watching Math to the Max. Today we will talk about compound interest. One of the most lucrative businesses, the bank, because of compound interest. They're charging compound interest on top of interest on top of interest. And now the government is printing more money, our interest rates will eventually rise. So now we need to know how to calculate our interest payments for our cars and houses, etc. All right, let's go over some vocabulary. So the first one is compound interest for a specific time, which is the formula A equals P, parentheses 1 plus R over N, close parentheses, raised to the NT power. NT is an exponent. Next, we have compound interest formula for continuously. We have A equals P times E raised to the RT power. So A is our final amount, our future value. P is our principal amount, our initial value. They may use the word deposit, invest, start out with. E is a constant in your calculator. It's approximately 2.718. R is your interest rate. Always change it from a percentage to a decimal. N is the number of times compounded. Look for the word yearly for one, semi-annually for two, quarterly for four, monthly for 12, weekly for 52, and daily 365 days. Time is always measured in years. Okay, what's our prior knowledge? Knowing how to use the substitution property. Solving logarithmic and exponential equations. We did a video on that. Need to check it out. Go check it out, please. And then understanding simple interest. That's the last video we did. Okay, so how do we apply the process of finding the compound interest? Decide which formula is needed from the specific time or the continuously. Label the variables with the correct number and decide what variable you need to solve for. Substitute the number for the variables and solve for the missing variable. All right, pause the video to let that sink in. In essence, in summary, just use the formula and plug in and you solve it for the variable. You already know what time it is. It's time to go to work. All right, so our formula we should have used was compounded for a specific time because it says compounded quarterly. So I would have labeled all of my variables with the correct numbers and we should have that. And then go ahead and plug those into the correct formula. Now we just put that in our calculator. 550 to parentheses quantity raised to the 20th power because 4 times 5 is 20 we get $610.72 alright number 2 make sure you read the problem and figure out which formula you need to use compounded for a specific time because it says compounded monthly we will label our variables with the correct numbers and we're trying to find our time alright you plug into the formula alright so now we're just solving for our time so the first thing you're going to do is divide by 30,000 and then we put our quantity 1 plus the fraction of parentheses and in the calculator we get that 1.067 number and then the property of logs says when you have a power you can take the property of logs take the log on both sides when you saw them for the exponent we did the power rule bringing the power to the front as a leading coefficient and since you're trying to solve for 4t we divided by log 1.067 number on both sides and then we divide by four and we get T is approximately 53 and a half years. Final answer. Okay, we read number three. And we see we have to use our compounded continuously because it says compounded continuously. All right, label our correct variables with the correct numbers and we're trying to solve for our P, our principal amount. So we plug it in 
and then now we're just going to plug in e.0148 you remember that's an exponent when we get that number 1.1185 and since you have since you have p band multiplied, you get rid of that number by dividing on both sides. So p is about eight hundred ninety four dollars and five cents. Final answer. Okay, you read number four. What formula do you have to use? Right, compound for a specific time, and that's semi annually. So we know that's two. So when we label our variables with our correct numbers, we get the following, and we're solving for our rate. What was the interest rate we needed? Okay, so we plugged in. Now we divide it both sides by 28,000. And we get 1.4134 equals our quantity in parentheses to the 10th power. We need to get rid of the exponent 10. So we divide by 10 on both sides. And you remember the invisible one for the power on the left side of the equation. Put that number in our calculator, get 1.0352, subtract 1 on both sides, and how do we get rid of divide by 2, we multiply by 2, so R is about 0.0704, which we change to 7.04%. Alright guys, I hope this was very helpful, now you guys know how to solve for your principal, solve for your future value, your rate of time when you're buying assets that require a loan, or if you're doing investments where you're putting your money into the bank and they're giving you interest. If this was helpful, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, always striving for excellence and reaching for success.